uses trials in our lives to grow us, to sharpen us, and refine us so we can be examples and blessings to others. We're called to praise Him and thank Him in all of our trials. You know, God has a way of putting people in our path that can be examples of His grace and mercy and be spiritual inspirations to us. Which leads me to our guest today, Yvette Jackson. She is an author, actor, model, and inventor. Yvette has had some challenges in her life, including child molestation, poverty growing up in Jamaica, an abusive marriage, multiple surgeries, life risking accidents, and cancer. But today, as you'll meet her, she is happy, full of smiles, a true inspiration, and cured of cancer by the grace of God. So let's meet her. Welcome, Yvette. Thank you, Frank. We're here to talk about Yvette Jackson's book called The Journey. I'm holding this book. It's your book. Oh, oh, you hold it, oh yes, I will hold it. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Tell us please today, Yvette, what inspired you or motivated you to write the book, The Journey? I have an amazing story about my trials and tribulation that I've been through in my life. And when I see how the Lord has brought me through all of it, I realize that my story needs to be told. And I put it in a book form so it can inspire, strengthen, and encourage the readers. So you know that you're not a victim, but you are a victor. A victor. That's victor. what you are. You are a victor. In Jesus' name I am. Amen. Amen. I bet. Yes. You also struggled with cancer. Yes. Please tell us about that. Well, like you know, every year you do your mammogram. And they found a lump in my breast, and one thing led to another. I had major surgery, six hours of surgery, and through the grace of God, in prayer and fasting, I've been healed for six years now. Wow. Six years I'm cured. Six years. Six years. And I'm sure all the details are in your book. All the details are in my book, The Journey. I bet. Yes. I understand from reading your book that you went through an amazing, difficult trial at the age of 13 with child molestation from your stepfather, right? Yes. Could you please tell us a little bit about that? Yes. I was molested at age 13 by my stepfather. And I truly believe that the Lord has helped me through it by allowing me to forget the trauma that I've been through until when I was able to endure then I started to remember everything I've been through. The Lord's been good to me. So the Lord helped you deal with it in His time, at the right time, and give you the strength. Exactly. Wow. Exactly. He gave me the inner strength, and by then I was a Christian, and I learned how to pray to the Lord for inner strength, and He helped me through it all. Well, that was my next question. When did you get to meet the Lord? <laughs> I met the Lord 17 years ago. Okay. Yes, I came to the Lord 17 years ago, and I've been with Him ever since, and I don't plan to leave Him, because without Him, you, will, you cannot go through the trials and tribulations. Yvette, in yes. the book, The Journey, I remember that uh, reading about a really uh, life-threatening accident that you had, and it was... On the way to church, if I remember correctly? Yes, on the way to church. On the way to church. Yes. Wow. Tell us about it. Well, I was on my way to church, and there's this 18-wheeler coming the opposite directions, and it did not stop. It took the red light, and I was, before I knew it, I was underneath the 18-wheeler, because I saw me going under, so I even went, duck my head like this. And so I was under the 18-wheeler, and I came out of that accident without a scratch. The car was total. The police was amazed. The doctors in the emergency room was amazed. And they all said, somebody has to be watching over you. I said, yes, his <laughs> name is Jesus. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Oh, my. Yes. I have this image in my mind yes. of an 18-wheeler 
and yes. little Ivette. Underneath. Underneath. Yes, because when the police examined the truck, he stormed in the emergency room and he said, did you know he was underneath the 18 wheeler? I said, yes, I saw me going under. He said, the paint of your car is under the 18 wheeler. Oh, wow. And God brought me out of that miraculously yeah. without a scratch. That's right, because you almost met your maker, almost, our maker. Almost met our maker. But it wasn't your time. It wasn't my time. I have unfinished business to do for the Lord. And I believe that when you're going about your father's business, the devil can't have you. That's right. Amen. 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 <laughs> Ivette, I also remember in your book that you've been dealing with, had to deal with, and have been dealing with an abusive relationship, an abusive marriage. Tell us how you mustered the strength to hang in there for such a long period of time and how you did. Well, I didn't do it. God gave me the strength because no human being doesn't have the strength, the inner strength to deal with such a abusive marriage like I did on their own. It has to be God. You have to depend on the Lord. You have to ask Him for strength and He will walk you through it. And you leave it in His hands for Him to work it out for you. So you prayed about it day by day and did you seek outside uh, mentorship or counseling? Yes, I went to my pastor and I always get counseling from my pastor. He always counseled me to help me to understand things. Why is this happening? Why is this not happening? And that's what helped me to walk. He walked me through it. Couldn't have done it on my own. Okay. Couldn't. It was too rough. How did you muster the strength to make it through for such a long period of time? Well, I didn't muster the strength. God gave me the strength. Without God giving you the inner strength, you cannot go through such an ordeal in your marriage without him. So prayer, and did you seek outside help too? Yes, I went to my pastor for counseling, and he always counseled me and walked me through it. And that's what kept me, God and the counseling of my pastor. He puts people around us that, that can actually help us. Wow. Well, thank you so much, Ivette, for your testimony today. You are welcome. You can get Ivette's book called The Journey. Where, Ivette? Amazon.com, Barnes & Noble, Borders, and my website, Ivette Jackson.com or anywhere books are sold by order. And how are we spelling Ivette? I-V-E-T-T. -T. No E at the end. No E? No. I would think you'd have an E. When I was leaving Jamaica, the immigration officer says, Ivette, drop the E. It's not on the birth certificate. <laughs> Hence, no E. Hence, no E. So that's Ivette Jackson.com. Thank you so much, Ivette. You're welcome. God Ivette. bless you. God bless you too. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to visit www.ichurchnetwork.com and check out our new feature, Digital Downloads. We have a growing selection of Christian-based music, eBooks, and games at great prices too. Plus, our MP3 downloads play on any device, including iTunes, iPod, Windows Media Player, and more. Join iChurchNetwork.com today. It doesn't cost anything, and you're bringing others closer to Jesus Christ. Find the best deals for Christian products, and network with other Christians across the world. We're consistently providing you with new features. Join us today on iChurchNetwork.com. I'm your host, Frank George. Special thanks to Uplift Life Foundation. Till next time, see ya. All over the world, the gospel grows, planted in human hearts. All over the world, the Father shows.